while using excel few things appear to be static on excel's interface excel's default settings work fine in most of the cases but there is no one size that fits all and you might need to change some of the settings believe it or not majority of them are customizable to a great extent thus adding more to users ability in this video we learn how to change or customize various items in order to get a better spreadsheet experience the default font in excel is calibri and font size is set to 11 but if you want to change any or both of these two then you can easily do it just click on the file tab and then on the backstage screen click options on the excel options dialog box make sure that the general screen is active and look for when creating new workbooks within use this as a default font you can select the one you want i have selected bell mt and font size as 15 you can also change the number of worksheets available by default in a workbook by default it's set to 3 under include this many sheets you can increase or decrease the number as you desire for example i will set it to 7 the maximum you can have uh, are 255 worksheets now click on okay note that you have to close the excel application and these changes will only take effect on the new workbooks created so let's close the application and then reopen you can see that uh, the font has been changed to bell mt and it's a larger font size 15 as we set moreover this new workbook has seven worksheets you must be wondering that uh, changing the font and the font size can be done from the ribbon itself that is uh, from font group in the home tab but mind you that's only for the selected cells on the current worksheet what we learned is an option setting that applies to all new workbooks after the change is made by default inactive worksheet tabs in excel are gray and active or selected worksheet tabs are white if you have a lot of worksheets in your workbook it may be difficult to quickly find a particular sheet you can uh, color worksheet tabs to easily identify them or for better presentation and it's a simple thing to do as well just a uh, right click on sheet tab hover on uh, tab color option a palette of theme colors and standard colors displays on the color sub menu now click on a color to select it or click on more colors if you want a color you don't see in the palette so select the desired one and you will see the selected color on the tab once you move to another tab you can also use uh, the ribbon to select a tab color make sure that the worksheet tab for which you want to change the color is the active tab then on the home tab on the ribbon click format in the cells group go to tab color and then select a color of your choice 
you can also use the keyboard to get this done just press alt h o t in succession once you press t you'll see the color sub menu where you can either click on a color or you can use the arrow keys to move to the color you want and then press enter you can also apply color to multiple worksheet tabs at once as long as it's the same color now to change the color of two or more worksheet tabs click the first tab you want to select and then press control and then click on the other tabs you want to select then uh, right click on any of the tabs in the selected group and change the tab color Are you wondering if you can customize the appearance of uh, the Office 2016 programs and make them more personalized and easier on the eyes? Well, the answer is yes. Now there are four different uh, Microsoft Office themes to choose from. Colorful, dark gray, black and white. Go to File options general and personalize your copy of microsoft office office theme select the theme from the available options and click ok yes it's quite a thing though not many options are available but still any kind of change is good enough and mind you this change affects all Microsoft Office programs running on your machine like Word, PowerPoint, etc. You can also get this done from a file, account, user information and Office theme. You may not have given a thought to the color of the grid lines in Excel before. But if you are bored with the default gray color or you want to use a color that's easier on your eyes, you can change the color of the grid lines. Click File tab and on the Backstage screen click Options. On the Excel Options dialog box, click advanced in the list of items on the left then scroll down to display options for this worksheet select the color from the grid line color selector palette make sure that the show grid lines box is selected then click ok so here you are Remember this change only applies to a specific worksheet and the color can be different for each worksheet in the current workbook.